The world's oceans are not faring well under climate change, and yet international climate talks rarely put the state of the oceans up high on the agenda. A team of researchers from Scripps Institution of Oceanography hopes to change that. As global warming negotiations get underway in Paris this week, Scripps graduate student Yasir Edebar goes to Paris tomorrow. He joins me now. How vital are oceans to the global ecosystem? Uh, first off, thank you for having me. Uh, and I'm very excited to attend the next Conference of the Parties. Uh, the oceans are extremely important, not only to our climate, but to our health and our uh, global ecosystems. They provide protein to about two billions uh, of uh, people worldwide. They're hugely important to our climate. They essentially moder modulate our climate. And for climate change, uh, they play a central role. Uh, about a quarter of carbon emissions that we emit every year end up in the ocean and about 90% of the heat that's trapped by those greenhouse gases is absorbed by the ocean. So without the ocean, I think climate change would have a very different uh, scenario. So with that absorption, what's been the ultimate effect on the water? Uh, so these services, of course, yeah, they don't come uh, free of charge. They come at a high price. Uh, the absorption of heat warms up waters worldwide, and so that has an impact, for example, on coral bleaching, uh, on, exp on uh, reducing the habitat of marine ecosystems. The uptake of carbon, for example, makes the water more acidic. It uh, makes the pH go down and acidity increases. And that makes it hard for calcifying organisms like coral reefs and shells to grow. And that has wide impacts on fisheries and uh, ocean-dependent countries. And in turn then, what effect are warming seas and acidification having on climate change? So in, at the same time, uh, the impact of, uh, for example, ocean heat uptake has a, a tremendous influence on our climate. Uh, because of the ability of the ocean to take heat, uh, we are seeing climate change that is not as serious as it could be. For example, without the ocean, climate change would have reached about 36 degrees Celsius warmer. But because the ocean can absorb that heat, uh, it's essentially buffering climate change to a large degree. And uh, climate negotiations uh, usually are sort of landlocked or uh, land biased in, in the uh, policy discourse. So yeah, this, yeah. this is what I wanted to talk to you about. So despite the effect and this relationship, oceans are not front and center in global warming talks. Why? Uh, there are a variety of reasons why that happens. One of them is that the ocean crosses boundaries worldwide, so it's not within the boundary of any specific country. Uh, a lot of these ocean topics can be vague to delegates. They don't have direct relevance to their constituents. And there are no delegates for marine organisms at these tables. And that's where I think the role of ocean scientists, non-governmental organizations, and uh, uh, collaborations like the Ocean and Climate Platform, that Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego is taken part of. Right, and so you're part of this team at Scripps Institution of Oceanography that's traveling to the Paris Conference, I believe, tomorrow. Um, what will you do there? Uh, so as part of the Scripps uh, delegation uh, and the UC San Diego dele delegation, uh, our role is to inform the policy process by through our uh, work research in ocean sciences and climate sciences. This year, uh, the focus is on raising awareness on the ocean's role in climate, and uh, some of our members, for example, distinguished Professor Ram Ramanathan will be providing scientific advice to the Holy See. These are delegates from the Vatican, uh, as well as uh, participating in panel events. And I think the most important part of these uh, delegations attending uh, the COP is informal conversations in hallways that bring a lot of these ocean topics to policymakers in, in an accessible manner, rather than having to sort through uh, IPCC reports that are pretty dense. Uh, and so I look forward to actually participating and talking to delegates from around the world, along with my colleagues uh, and faculty members. And very quickly now, what yeah. is needed to protect the world's oceans? Uh, first of all, we need to put it right into the center of the climate policy discussions. Uh, when we, for example, uh, design climate mitigation and adaptation strategies, we have to make sure we have uh, ocean impacts as part of the discussion. Uh, we also need to uh, observe uh, the changes in the oceans because a lot of it occurs in, uh, in the subsurface of the ocean and we don't really know uh, a lot about the ocean. So uh, I think all of this would be a tremendous uh, benefit, I think.
Thank you, Yasser Adabar. Thank you. Thanks for having me.